everybody want to act as if this is strange that she likes men now. And this is my thing. How did we go from being a lesbian is strange, right? Being a lesbian is strange as fuck, you know what I'm saying? You like in your same sex, you just weird. Half of the other world at that time didn't like women, you know what I'm saying? So why you like them? But then when you decide, I'm going to just go back and like men again. It's like, you where? And it's like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a woman. One thing, <clears throat> Damo, it's like Damo was meant for this. God just gave her that that uh, baton. You know what I'm saying? Because she was pregnant as a stud, but really wasn't even a stud. Pregnant as a stud. And that threw the internet for a whole loop. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? You a stud and you pregnant? Meanwhile, she wasn't even a stud for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but the fact that everybody hated her for doing it, and now she back to dressing like a woman is just she's not a hater for for dressing like a woman. Like somebody wrote under my comments, "You studs making us look bad." Like a, a a comment for you to say that you making your damn self look bad. I'm glad you don't represent us. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that I could represent us. Okay. Oh, Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, my homie just smashed, scoring touchdowns. She got some good cat, nigga, we could go rounds. Take me in, shit, I kinda want some more now. Uh, bust down, Tatiana, bitch, nasty. I need y'all to go subscribe to the Royal Vibes Network. Uh, first of all, these my people, so y'all please, please subscribe to her. For real, she's a very, very, very genuine person. When we came to Orlando, she showed us nothing but hospitality in all of us. Uh, nothing but hospitality, you know what I'm saying? And um, she's really, really nice. Her mom's nice. Her son loves my song. And you know what I'm saying? I, I really, really want to pay homage to Royal Vibe. She's a really, really cool person. And it would be everything if y'all did subscribe to her, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, she currently has 255 subscribers. I would love for her to get to 1,000. You know what I'm saying? Today ain't going to hurt none. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna hurt nothing. I need y'all to do that for me. Cause that my people's right there, you heard? And uh, yeah, I still got your shirt coming. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host. And today, we are reacting to Dama Wilson's <coughs> Feelings Official Lyrics video. <clears throat> now, I just woke up. So bear with me. I sound like a grown man, you know what I'm saying? But uh, nonetheless, Let's get to this video. This is about the feelings video, you know, where uh, nice looking brother Lawrence got upset that I was talking about that kiss, you know what I'm saying? But I hope that I men, you know, I made things better yesterday when I made my video. You, know? you don't have to be mad at me, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's get to the damn video. Let's get it. What inspired feelings was I started liking this guy so unexpectedly because we weren't supposed to like each other. Now all of a sudden, it's like, damn. A guy, what the hell? Testosterone. He probably <laughs> still don't know this song is about him. I'm just like, I don't like rejection. So if you don't feel the same way about me, then baby, we gon' I'm gonna this for another dude. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> makes me feel like I'm just that bitch like even when I'm like got a bonnet on or like looking for me you know I'm like wow and I've been with people before that just judge my looks and like just did not like me when I wasn't like at my peak so I feel like he he's showing qualities that's like wow this could be something <clears throat> you know um Damo's uh is complexity a word probably not <laughs> but the way how complex Damo is um that makes her who she is you know <laughs> Damo and I will probably argue all the time if we talk every day um because of the way she sees things and that's one thing I'm realizing in life like you just everybody sees things differently it's nothing you can do about that nothing you know I don't care what you try and do you still can't do it you know what I'm saying People see things the way they see things, and that's it, you know? Um, so it's, it, Damo, that's my Damo right now. 
I catch myself sitting by the phone, waiting for you to just hit my line. Day and night you stay on my mind and I'm feeding for you like all the time. I sit by the phone, I wait on your message. Oh my god. You that important to me. <laughs> so I just feel like, you know, I like you, you know? Like, I'm getting like new, new, new adventure vibes from Damo. Because, you know, everybody want to act as if this is strange that she likes men now. And this is my thing. How did we go from being a lesbian is strange, right? Being a lesbian is strange as fuck, you know what I'm saying? You like in your same sex, you just weird. Half of the other world at that time didn't like women, you know what I'm saying? So why you like them? But then when you decide, I'm going to just go back and like men again, it's like, you where? And it's like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a woman. One thing, <clears throat> Damo, it's like Damo was meant for this. God just gave her that that uh, baton. You know what I'm saying? Because she was pregnant as a stud, but really wasn't even a stud. Pregnant as a stud. And that threw the internet for a whole loop. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? You a stud and you pregnant? Meanwhile, she wasn't even a stud for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but the fact that everybody hated her for doing it, and now she back to dressing like a woman is just, now they hate her for, for dressing like a woman. Like somebody wrote under my comments, you studs making us look bad. Like a, a, a comment for you to say that, you making your damn self look bad. I'm glad you don't represent us. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that I could represent us. The fuck? <laughs> I ain't got the guts to tell you how I feel, baby, I don't want to look dumb. So I'm cool with just being friends with you, even if I know you're the one. Even though he's told me, like, yeah, I'm feeling you, you know. I really don't have the guts, guts to tell him directly, like, I'm trying to hide your babies. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if he's like, oh, never mind. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I don't know. It's not mutual. And then I'm like looking stupid and then I gotta lie. Like, I ain't like you anyway. You'll jump bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? When dudes don't get a number or they try to hit on a girl and then he gets rejected. He's like, I ain't like your ugly ass. And I feel like that's, I don't want to be that person. Because she's so special to me like the queen. We can hang out. They still get mad when you leave. I've been hurt in the past. Don't know who to believe. But the way that I'm feeling is you and it's me. Because I know your heart and I know your mind. The way you look at me, you so fucking fine. I think what makes this person so fine is grown ass man so fine oh my it's god the way he comes off like damn being assertive you know what the fuck are you talking about you lifting me up my little ass you know I, it's just so fine like the, the fucking beard i'm not used to facial i'm like the beard the fucking cleanliness you shower you know you got that stigma on men like people think oh men don't shower you shower every day you're fine for that that, that that's attractive and now i like, want <laughs> First of all, you better show. Like, you know what's so weird? <clears throat> lesbians do have stigmas for men, you know? And I feel like that's why a lot of lesbians don't talk to men anymore. <clears throat> Not only because they like women, but a lot of women that like women that may like men think that it's weird. They, they don't want to come out because, you know, of what the world is gonna say or what their parents gonna say, you know, you done raised hell and told everybody you a lesbian and then suddenly you want a man now and it's like like are you are you serious? Like it's it's so, that is so much pressure. I don't wanna be that person. First of all, me liking a man again is like slim to never. Cause I have my stigmas too. And I you know, I don't wanna stay I don't wanna say my stigmas because I don't want y'all to think that I'm ignorant, you know what I'm saying? Cause my stigmas are like really, really long. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> half of this generation, especially this new generation. No, you know what? I'm not gonna go there. If y'all want me to do a a, a stigma that stigmas that I have about men video, say hell yeah down in the comments want to do is make your mind but we can stay friends and just take our time i got feelings for you that i cannot explain and i get butterflies every time you say my name and when i am around you you take away the pain and you know some people you can I tell them what you've been through and they'll do worse to you 
I told him what I went through and he's not putting me through that. And let's just hope to God he won't. You ever bragged on somebody and they fucking just fuck up the whole oh, shit. shit. Never mind, let's hope that don't happen after this interview. <laughs> I just wanna know if you love me all the same man. I feel like I decided to smooth it out a little bit and of course give a little uh it's because <laughs> I feel like I'm like, oh, this is what I want from you. And of course, I'm more vulnerable. I'm like, I got feelings for you that I cannot explain. And I can't explain it because it wasn't supposed to happen. We were literally just supposed to be friends and, you know, a little this turn into this and this turn into that. So I want to give a little vulnerability, you know. Definitely <clears throat> should have had somebody sing that part. Um, but I told her that. Like, everybody thinking that I'm just out here, like, just yes, sir, niggas. Nah, nigga. <laughs> that ain't me. If I feel some type of way, I'm gonna let you know. You know what I'm saying? Period. So, definitely, I think, and I'm gonna do what she wants. Let's be very clear. Um, but I think somebody should have sang it. I think that would have been real dope if somebody would have sang it. Maybe if it was a man, that would have been even doper. You know what I'm saying? For for a man to sing it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to put that part in there. You make it hard to breathe when you walk right past me. Y'all could be your girl, like you gotta do is ask me. My message to people who are afraid to shoot their shot and make the first move. Don't do it. <laughs> I like him. Does that mean I'm ready for a relationship? No. But I feel like, unless you just got balls, big boy balls, do that shit. But if you're like, uh, I'm not really sure, then play it back. Be friend. Like, there's so many ways you could really ask somebody out. And my thing is, like, well, first of all, obviously, I'm not, I'm with somebody, so I, I can't do that. But at the time of when I wasn't, I I choose my battles <clears throat> with anything that I do. That's something my daddy always taught me. Choose your battles. You don't have to fight all of them. So, like, you can size somebody up. You know what I'm saying? But have some patience with your sizing them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Have a conversation with them. Sometimes people flirt. They lead you in the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? You thinking they like you and they don't like your ass at all. You know what I'm saying? That's embarrassing as hell. Um, but it's like, is, is it worth the chance? If it's not worth the chance, I mean, then you could just be single and be 42 with 100 cats. That's fine. You know? But I think that you should shoot your shot. Just, just, just wait. You know what I'm saying? Wait for the perfect time. And then squalls up in there. Yeah, I said squalls. <laughs> it's flirt a little bit, touch the eyes. Don't touch no thighs. I'm, born, but you can be I'm so glad he's not like perfect. Because perfect is boring. You know, so he he be cracking jokes. He be like trying to trick me all the time. It's like a little, it's like a little kid. Like, it's not like a love, but it's, it's cute. He's annoying. Let's fly to Dubai, <laughs> baby. We can make it happen. I've never been to Dubai, but I would love to go to Dubai because first of all, there's a fine group of people over there. If this don't work out with him, when I come over there, y'all, no right. I love when you gas me up. No ass, but you ask me up. He'd be like, damn, you fine, damn, you so beautiful, damn, you this. I'd be like, girl, I mean, <laughs> I'd be like, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Jeans could have edited that out. <laughs> like, I know, I know that I won't be having a ball of confusion going on or the things that she say or whatever just because of what she just came from. I personally think that it's dope because not everybody can do it. I'm sure there's a lot of women out here right now crying because they want a man so bad. But you done told the world you like girls and it's like, you you don't want to feel stupid for going back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that pr I just, bro, I just don't like men. I never, ever seen myself in a relationship with a man i felt like i was the man in the relationship with the man you know what i'm saying and that's just weird and granted i was young you know what i'm saying a child but still i just uh -uh. i i have nothing against the man you know i say it's a nice looking brother you know whatever but i i, I love women i love everything about Oh, how can you not like women? Is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? How can you not? How as a woman, how that's just that might be far, but I'm just saying. Women are beautiful. You are right, right. But 
my booty is so small. It makes me sad. And people keep saying, just do squats. But like, he like asses me up. Like he be like, you got a little sun back there. You got a little poke. Like, asses like, me up. Thanks. But we, we know the truth. You know, I'm a pancake. I ain't never got a pull on my wallet. Could you pay? You got more than me, Damo. I don't have no ass. Like ass missing. Okay. Ass out. Okay. Just not assed in. You get what I'm saying? Just no ass. And it's sad, you know. But I don't need no help getting no ass. You get what I'm saying? I I, I go to the gym or something, you know. Hit my squats. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's it though. <laughs> you a real ass man. I don't care what they say. And you treat me like a lady, even though you know my past. We can't get through whatever. All the good and all the bad. Fuck the past. I'm your last little baby. Don't give a fuck about what you had, little baby. And now your ex is steady tripping on you because you with the shits. But you don't give a fuck what it was or what it is. You a boss ass nigga and I love it, I admit. And when I'm feeling insecure, you make me feel like I'm the shit. Damn. When I say I don't give a fuck about what you had, I don't give a fuck about what was before me. Like, that's so irrelevant. And now your ex is with the shits. Like, your exes keep, like, move around. If it wasn't dirty, what do I care for? Facts. I'm trying to protect my heart. Because I don't want to fall too fast. But the way that you care, you play your part. I pray to God that we last, cause yeah, I've been hurt in the past and my trust is so off, but your patience for me is amazing. I be wanting to cry and just telling you all, but you sit there, they be and you take it. Lately, um, regarding our friendship and stuff like that, we've been having a lot of trauma and I've been like so stressed and just be wanting to cuss him the fuck out. Like, nigga, what the fuck? It's too early for this shit. But he's so patient. He's like, we're going to get through this. You know, everything's good. Relax, calm, do meditation. <laughs> like, okay. he's just so like... Sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, he be hype, but I'm saying like in this time, in this, you see people's true colors when you go through stuff, and right now we're going through stuff, and he's been very fucking patient, I appreciate that. I ain't never felt a love like this. I you, you don't go through that with women. Jesus. Sometimes it's just like, you know, I gotta fight all battles. It, like, being a lesbian is really, really, I'm a superhero, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a superhero. I can do things that I never thought I could do, you know? And my parents raised me not to be no buster, especially my mama. That's her That's her uh, go-to line. Like, I ain't raised no busters. I ain't raised no suckers, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm just a different breed, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm different. <laughs> but I appreciate that with my lesbianism. You get what I'm saying? Me not being a sucker translate into my lesbianism you get what i'm saying i appreciate that you know i ain't never felt a trust like this fucking people gonna talk motherfuckers gonna walk i ain't never give a fuck like this okay. for real i just want to have your babies go crazy the feel of that i feel feeling so hazy so everybody know i have a son he's two years old Dumbo, so wiki. um and motherhood is amazing so i feel like I was born to have babies. I was born to bear children, you know. He always asks about my son. He's never met my son, and I'm not going to let him meet my son for months. Because you have to be sure before you just take people in and out your children's life. He's still, like, when we go out and we go to a music party, he wins him gifts. Who does that? You know oh. what I'm saying? I feel like I got a little Russell Wilson. You know what I'm saying? We even never had sex, and he's doing all this. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> I'm really dead on the Russell Wilson. Like, let me tell you something about that Russell Wilson. That's a different type of man right there. Now that is a brother, okay? He, Russell Wilson changed Sierra, Sierra, changed Sierra entire life. Like he pretty much, I don't know if this was in a grants, but they, they both decided, I guess they wasn't gonna have sex till they got married or uh, was having sex in the beginning, but stopped until they got married or something like that. I don't know. But, um, not only that, these niggas not ball baseball teams and, bro, they lit. They too lit. She went from just being a little, you know, a little artist, you know what I'm saying, with just being dragged around by future disrespectful ass to being with a grown ass man. Shout out to Russ. That's a man right there. Oh, My brother. Thank you, Sierra. Thank you. In the way you can, it's so wavy. And they mad so what? They don't hate me. But I don't give a shit because it's us against the world. I'm a down ass bitch even though I'm not your girl. You a real ass man because you always put me first. Baby, tell me how you feel. I promise you that I won't hurt. I want to treat you good. I want to love you right. I don't want to hurt you. No flex. I want to give my all. I want us both to fall. Swear I'm nothing, babe, like your ex. He 
talks about his ex. I just feel like if I was in these um in this interview, I would fuck up my words. You know, that's why I'm afraid to be an artist because I feel like in concert I would fuck up my words. I'm just letting y'all know that. And I, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted you to know. A few times. And I understand his ex hurt him bad to the point where he feels like he's scared to care. He's scared to be vulnerable. He's scared to look stupid. He's scared of all that stuff. And I'm just like, if you only knew, you know, like my heart, I really feel like it's so pure. And I feel like I can show him all the things that his ex lacked. I'm sure she was a great person. They just weren't great together. So oh, That's how I be. Yeah. You always say that your exes did this and your exes did that and you don't know how to trust, you don't want to be vulnerable, you don't want to look stupid. I'm sure he knows the songs about him. We just don't talk about it. Whenever he starts talking about it, I'll be like, no, 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 nah. Like, I feel like I get antsy. But baby, we can be vulnerable together. Let's make it work. We got it. Pretty much the outro was basically saying, like, I'm never going to hurt you. You don't ever have to worry about me cheating. You don't ever have to worry about me being unloyal to you, bitch. Like, I can go meet your mom. I can meet your family. Like, I'm the girl you take home, and they're like, damn. Would you find her at? You'd be like, mom, chill, you know? It ain't nothing serious. Just a little friend. But I'm the, I'm the one that your parents want you to be with. People change feelings so fast. They're like, oh, I like you one day. I, I'm in love with you one day. And then they're like, eh, found a new bitch. Found okay. a new nigga. You're going to have to go all in with me. You know what I'm saying? You need to tell me I like you. One day I'm trying to marry you. I'm trying to put a fetus in your uh, uterus. I need somebody to assert that shit. Shut Dama want her a man, baby. You and me. You know, power to my sister. You know what I'm saying? Power to your sister. Any lesbians out there, if you feel like you ready to tell whoever you told that you was a lesbian that you like men again, go ahead. I mean, shit. Because this is the thing. Nobody else is living for us, bro. Nobody but your ass. You know what I'm saying? You living for you, you know? And I mean, shit. This your life, so if that's what you want to do, that's what you should do. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, then you don't. You continue bagging these ladies with me. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, I know it seems like it's hard to say to none, but I just want y'all to know that's why uh, I respect, you know, what she did. Because it's like, I don't care what none of y'all got to say. I'm going to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dope. But we on to the next video. Love y'all.